Proverbs 18.22. The Bible says, He who finds a wife finds what is good and receives favor from the Lord. My queens, my single queens, your husband is the one that will find you. It's not the other way around. Praise the Lord. Your husband, the way the Bible describes it, is that the man will what? Find you. A man shall find a wife. It's not the other way around. You see, a lot of problems that are happening today is because the man told you who he was, but you did not believe him. The man told you, this is a man that is sitting, saying, my marriage broke up. I told her who I was, but she did not take it. She still decided to enter. Praise the Lord. If somebody tells you who they are, in words, and in what? In action, believe them. You are dating somebody now. That person you are dating is a drunkard. You marry him and you want him to change. Please make it make sense. You are dating somebody now that talks to you like he's talking to a one-year-old child. You are dating that person and that is the person you want to marry. And tomorrow there's a problem. Make it make sense. You are following somebody now. He is a chronic humanizer. You know him with one, two, three, four, five, six. You say you love him. Then when you now enter the house, it becomes a problem. Make it make sense. You are dating somebody now, does not respect his own father, mother, elders, anybody. You say you love him and you marry him and tomorrow there's a problem. Make it make sense. The ideal thing is when a man comes to you, a lot of the time they are pretending so that you like them. They are lying to you so that you what? You like them. They are deceiving you so that they can enter into your pants. Some will borrow car and come so that you will what? Like them. Some every time will come and pick you. Both of you will go for a party, go to a club, go here, do all the things that you're not supposed to do. Just so that you what? Like him. All the red flags are there, but you say you will, you will, you will follow and the most annoying one is when the man is even misbehaving, you now start pursuing him. You now be the one to call. Hey, I've not heard from him. Oh, I want to call him. Oh. Women, you must understand something. You are the price. As a single woman, as a single man, everything you know that you cannot tolerate in relationship. Please do not move further. Because you see that thing that he's doing, he will do times two. Go and ask the ones that are married. I'm coming to our side. That rudeness that he's rude, he will do times two. If he was slapping you on one cheek before, he will do times two. You are not the one to run and chase after any man. Anything that is gotten cheaply is never respected. I told us something. As a single man, as a single woman, you know they always talk about women. They always talk about women. You as a man, you, you, you naked for every woman that you see. Every woman knows you naked. Same thing for a woman. Any man that has something to do with you, let it be a thing of honor and pride. And let it even be at the right time. Tomorrow, I'm going to take and curse you. You that bought that baby for me. <laughs> Am I talking to us? <laughs> you that was dating how many people? Is it not me and you that used to go to a club? Now I'm going to a club, you are complaining. Because when you don't enter house, you don't go carry you go to a club again. At that time, the 
There is a new chick on the block. Now that one, they're going to carry go club. Now that one, they're going to carry go hangout. Then you, you will not be complaining. You cannot be saying now. You cannot be going now. You cannot be going now. Why were you dating? Was he not doing it? He was going out now. He was doing You even know the guest, self. Then the stupid thing that women do, too often I go come, they fight in self. Can, you, can we clap for women that go out and fight for themselves? Let's clap for them. You carry your leg. You can't meet another girl for a man that is not, even if he's your husband. Now we're not even talking married, we're talking simple. You carry yourself, you and your friends, you can't you can beat your fellow girl. You not be mumu. It is him that should find you. It is him that should seek you. The moment he's beginning to hide you, there's a, if he has never posted you on social media, you are dating yourself. He said, no, you know, I'm a private person. I don't want people to, you know, let's get married first. Let's, I understand privacy, but too much of everything is what? Bad. Single daughters here. There are women around you that you can learn from, but you feel like you know everything. There are mothers that have done it before us. There's nothing wrong if you sit. In fact, if they are talking, you will listen because they have experience, they have age. You don't have it. No matter how intelligent, no matter how educated, there are some things here that our mothers know. They did not need to read it from the Bible. It is experience that they have. And so I want to speak to you as a single lady. Respect yourself. Keep yourself. A lot of you are in a hurry. Ah, look at this person. He's married. Look at this one. And they come that side. Keep yourself. Let the man find you. And when he finds you, let him do the honorable thing, which is to take himself. Go to your father. Go to your mother. Go to your guardian and say, I have found a beautiful flower, like Auntie Barbara will say. I saw a beautiful antelope. I saw a beautiful flower. He will come with his father. He will come with his mother. His uncle, as the case may be. But let it be done honorably. 